In this session, we're going to discuss how to set up and utilize location security in the enterprise. So from my main ribbon, I'm going to go to Enterprise Setup, and we're going to scroll down towards the bottom here, and you're going to see an area called Location Security. So what this is utilized for is if I want to add additional users at the enterprise and let the system give them the capability of logging in to individual location or locations. You are going to have two sections here, users and roles. Let's talk about roles first. So I'm going to click on roles. So in your template, you should have various roles that are going to be available. And these are just kind of pre-set up for you to help you get going. So let's take a look at this shop form and role. So I'm going to just double click. In here, you're going to have a name and a little description on what it's for. Permissions. Now permissions are going to be what can this person do that has this role attached to their name? So here are all the things that they have the capability of doing. And you can see what's been set up, what they're allowed to do. Now these roles can be modified at any time to modify a role. If I say, well, I want my shop foreman to be able to maybe delete a vehicle. You notice here I can only add, modify, and view. I cannot delete. So I highlight the line. I'm going to go to edit. And now you see I have a delete. So if I check this box, what that does, it modifies the role itself. See, now they can delete. So what that simply means is any user that I assign this role to can now delete also any service item. If I wish to add something new, I can add something new. Here it's going to give me a complete listing of all the different functions in the system. Maybe I want them to go to time clock. And I want to deny or change something. So you can change anything you want in a role. If you wish to remove something, if I say I don't want them doing reorders or returns, I just hit remove and it deletes it right off of this role. Windows would be used for Windows integration. So when they log in their Windows, it can automatically log them in as a user. If you wish to create a new role, you certainly can. You can come up here and click on add on your main ribbon, give it a name. Maybe I want a new type of um, service role. Give it a name, little description, maybe for a new advisor, you wanna give them a more limited role until they get trained up. You go to permissions and then you just start adding what you want them to be able to do. Maybe you want them to be able to enter a contact. Maybe add one and modify, but that's it. And so you just go right down the list and you start adding what you want them to be able to do. And now I have a new role. If you don't want the role, click it, right click and delete, or go up to the top and delete. You also have a duplicate function. In other words, I might want to make a second service advisor role, but maybe just edit a couple of little things in there. I can just simply click it and duplicate it. The nice thing about this it brings over all the permissions that are in there and then I can just go edit a few. So I hit OK. There's my duplicate. Now I just go modify a few items. So it makes it real easy to make another role instead of having to do it from scratch. If you don't want it, Delete it. 
A user is going to be the person that's going to use a role or roles. So let's say I'm going to add a new shop manager or a shop foreman. So I want to go add. We're going to give him a name. So we'll put his name in. And he's going to be a new shop foreman. Security. I'm going to have to give him a username, so we'll use his name again. Password, we're just going to use initial here, G1. And then I'm going to put G1, it's capital G and the number one. Now, you've got to have at least two digits here. Can be anything you want, upper, lowercase, numbers, whatever you want, but it gotta be at least two digits. Again, here's your Windows authentication. Currently at this time, not using scanners. Now I'm gonna go here and tell the system what role or roles George is gonna play. So he's gonna be a shop foreman. Under locations, I'm going to tell the system which location or locations he's going to be working or be able to be a user at. Select locations. Here I can go and select the locations he's going to be at. Now I do need to hit OK to go look at permissions. So I'm going to click on OK. So now I have him in. If I open this back up by double clicking or right click and edit, I go to permissions. I can view all the permissions he has. So maybe I do want him to be able to delete a service item. Now I can go to add service item, hit next and select it. So what is the difference between here and doing it at the role itself? When I do it here under George's as a user, that means that I'm only modifying this one user. I'm not modifying the role for everybody who has that role. So when I'm at the user and I modify a permission, it's only doing it for that one particular person. Now, what if I don't want him to modify this stuff? Then I deny it. Now, if I go back and look, roles, permissions, view all, you'll see. He can delete, but he's denied modifying. If I want to get rid of it, click it and remove it. You can also take any user, open them up and apply multiple roles. So he might be a shop foreman manager and I want him working on inventory controls. So I can add an additional role. You can have as many as you want. So I gave him inventory management and shop foreman with the additional item of deleting a service item. That is location security. Now locations, once they're set up with your users, then you're going to go enter your location employees and apply the roles.